Hey folks, what's up? Uh, welcome back to the Progressive Web App Summit. I'm Rob Dodson, joined by Sarah Clark. Sarah is a uh, you're the program manager for web training and developer relations for uh, for Google. And uh, one of the big things that we've been talking about here at the, the event is this uh, progressive web app nano degree by, by Udacity. And can you, can you tell the folks out there who might be unfamiliar with that kind of uh, stuff, like, like what is a Udacity nano degree and what is included in that? So a Udacity nano degree is a credential program. It means you don't have to go through a full university and get a full university degree. Instead, you get a degree in some very practical topic like web development. So a year ago, at the last CDS, Chrome Developer Summit, we announced the Senior Web Nano Degree Program for basically taking a, a current everyday developers and building up to the point of being team leads. Now we're building on top of that with a progressive web app specialization. The specialization is a series of short courses, and we're about to launch the first two on an intro to progressive web apps and on web push, and that'll be coming out within the next couple of weeks. And the other more advanced topics that you've seen here, we already have classes being developed on how to do those things. So somebody will be able to take a short series of courses and master all the aspects of progressive web app development. But even before that, we already have courses on offline. We already have courses on pretty much all the big topics that you saw yesterday. And, uh, and and one of those topics being accessibility, and so I can't I, I, I have to very shamelessly like plug this now. So uh, one of those courses that that we launched uh, the other day was on web accessibility and, and the importance of accessibility not not just for desktop apps, but making sure that you're thinking about it for mobile as well. Um, can you talk about a little bit about why you think accessibility is important for for developers to consider in their process? So when mobile devices started coming out, I was teaching a lot of mobile web development. And one of the things I realized early is we all get a little disabled often with our mobile devices. It's really different doing something in a bus with your phone out in a noisy environment and weird light and all of that um, than it is doing something on a desktop. And so good accessibility is just good user experience design. You know, if you build for people that have vision constraints or audio constraints, well, guess what? Those are the same constraints we have every day out in the world with a mobile device. Now, uh, now, for, for the sessions that we're, we're seeing here, if someone is, what is watching right now, they're interested in learning more about this content, right? They want to take a deeper dive. What, what would their next move be? So you can go look at documentation, but also most of the sessions mentioned at a Udacity course. So you really have a choice. You can do some self-study read the docs, watch the videos, um, or you can grab a course. They tend to be reasonably short. You can usually, if you're full-timing it, do them in a day or two, but they go really in-depth and are really focused on practical topics, and they're all free. So come take a look at what we have at Udacity, and keep an eye on the announcement emails after this conference. We'll be announcing new courses as they come out. Right on, Sarah. Thank you so much for, for talking with us today. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about these Udacity courses, we're going to include a link down in the show notes to the nano degree, to the accessibility course, to all the goodness that, that Google is producing over on Udacity right now, as well as links to the docs and, of course, uh, links to the Chrome Developers YouTube channel and the playlist. Uh, looks like we're, we're turning out for a break, so we're going to get back to things. Thank you all so much for watching, and keep staying around for uh, day two of the Progressive Web App Summit.